Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Recently, I covered a lot of models from ByteDance and I came to know that they are the company behind the most popular social media platform at the moment, TikTok. So that was quite interesting to know. For me though, the most uh, impressive thing is that they have been re releasing a lot of small models in different modalities, which I have been covering on the channel for the last few months and they are really, really improving, improving in quality. Just recently, they have released this SA2 VA model in three different flavors from 1 billion to 8 billion through 4 billion and in this video I am going to install this 4 billion flavor of this SA2 VA model locally and then we will see how it works. This model seems quite performant one from the model card. This model is a new member of a new family of vision language models that combines Quen2 VL and SAM2 which is segment anything. The license is MIT, not Apache 2 unfortunately but still. The models are capable of tasks involving vision language understanding and visual reference which primarily refers to segmentation both for images and videos by the way. And as I said, it comes in three variants and is based on Intern VL 2.5 for base architecture and Quen 2.5 for language model part. So it depends upon which checkpoint you are going to use. Model seems quite interesting as it has got different encoders for different modalities. So for example, if you are using visual text or image or video, it will use different encoder and then it uh, combines all of these to feed into to the into the LLM. Uh, this is what I have got from their paper. Uh, also, the output segmentation tokens are passed to segment anything or SAM model to sort of match text, which primarily means that it is matching the text to the masks. Also, they have released an annotation pipeline that seems also quite promising. So this is a quick intro of it. Rest of the technical details you can find in the paper which you can see on the model card and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Check it out. Let me know what you think. But let's get it installed locally and for locally uh, installing it I am really uh, very grateful for Mast Compute for sponsoring this VM and GPU. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. As usual let's start by installing and creating our virtual environment. Okay next up let's install all the prerequisites which primarily include Torch, Torch Vision, Diffuser, Accelerate, NumPy etc. This is going to take 2 to 3 minutes. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let me import the libraries and then we will download the model and its tokenizer. And the model is being downloaded as you can see and you can ignore these warnings. And we are downloading the 4 billion parameter model and there are 4 shards of it. So let's wait for it to finish downloading. Model is eventually downloaded. Let's try to do the inference. So first up, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to provide it an image from my local system, with, which is just the image of my own city, Sydney. So this is a harbor bridge and all that stuff in the far end. There is the Sydney Opera House. So let's see if this is able to describe the image. So this is a usual thing where I'm passing it all the text prompt and the image path. It is using tokenizer to encode it. Model is generating the output and then tokenizer is uh, decoding it and then we are printing the response back so let's check it out and there you go the model has returned the response the response looks quite good it says i mean depicts the sydney harbor bridge and iconic steel through arch bridge that spans sydney harbor in new south wales australia and then it is talking about it what it connects what it does and then various events and stuff looks quite good very nice and i had to change just this um, chat template to get a better response okay so let's now try to do some OCR with it okay so for the OCR I'm just giving it this English plus some other European languages 
in the same paragraph with some of the alphanumeric characters and some special characters and few of the outliers like the zoom loud sound rapido and stuff okay so let's run it while it runs let's also check vram consumption so it is consuming 14.6 gig of vram it's fine i don't think so it's that bad just i think usual stuff it says okay what's in the image let's try to i'll just say extract that text from this image okay let's see if it does it or not let's wait for it and see what it produces okay much better response this time it is it has even given it a title for some reason which is fine it's not a title anyway so if you quickly look through it it doesn't look that bad to me most of the stuff it has got right i think maybe all of it very very minor things and then the good thing is that towards the end it has even given us what exactly is in this what appears to be portuguese english and yes that's correct good stuff let's try to do uh, maybe you know <clears throat> sorry so there is a i also have a persian one but maybe i'll just go with the arabic one this one let's do arabic so i'll just say osiara arabic dot png and let's see what it produces this time there you go no i don't think so nope i don't think so it can do any other than those languages which i just did okay so next up i am asking it uh, from this image that which lane can i drive through from the image and it says you can drive through the lane designated for autos buses and rv i'll just say i am riding a motorcycle maybe i'll just confuse it i'll just say i am sailing in a boat let's see what model does here i'm sure that is not maybe it's an auto let's see what model does so model says image shows electronic signs indicating the status of lanes on a road the top left this is therefore based on information provided and there is no indication of which lane is available for boats to pass through very nice there it says that to consult maritime charts very nice so this is really good very good answer instead of giving fabricated a wrong answer it has done well now next up i'm just giving it a made up movie poster which i used for my another video so i'm asking it is this a real movie poster in the image and then i have given it the image path let me run it and see what model says here there you go it says yes the image is a real movie poster for pulp fiction which it isn't so at least at last we were able to sort of deceive the model anyway but it is very very close so that's it let me know what do you think about this model pretty cool um i won't say it's one of it's the best model but one of the good models in terms of multimodal which we have seen recently try it out if you don't have much vram go with uh, the smaller 1 billion one and share your uh, thoughts in the comments would be really good if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching